Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 395. And I got a new toy in the mail the other day. And I had bought this little guy here. This is called the Charger Doctor, and it plugs into your USB port and it displays on here. And then you can plug your device in this side. And it displays the uh, voltage going to that device and the current. But it only has one display, so it has to toggle between those two displays. And I got to where I'm using this quite often for testing. So I decided to get this one, which was on sale for the same price as this one, which was $8.00. And it has two displays, one for voltage and one for current, plus it has two connections. One is uh, the connection that shows you what the current draw is on whatever device you hook to, and the other one is just a pass-through so you don't lose that USB port. And you can even test the tester. So I can plug this into here, theoretically. Um, it's a little tight. It's a really tight. There we go. And unfortunately, if I did that, it's upside down. So now we're testing the tester. We're testing this tester. And of course, it's not showing any current draws. But that's amazing that this uh, tester is not drawing any current. So, let's go back and do what I really want to do. Let me unplug, oh boy, let me unplug that. It's really a tight connection. What I really want to do is use this device to determine the current draw by my little cube radio um, MP3 player. So, this is the cable that came with that. So, I can hook that up to to my new tester and it doesn't have any problem inserting that so it must be the connector on this guy it's a little stiff and then I can plug in it's not drawing any current of course then I can plug in this device which I I've had on for about an hour so it is discharged a little bit and it shows that it's drawing uh, well, it's varying. That's interesting. But it was showing that it was drawing 0.1 amps. Now it's dropped down to 0.08. So this must still have a pretty good charge on it. Because, so it's, and I noticed before when I had this completely discharged, or at least discharged enough it wouldn't play, this was drawing uh, 0.1 amps or 100 milliamps to charge this device. Now, if I turn it on, see how much difference it makes. And it probably won't make much difference. Nope. Let me turn the volume down. Okay. So, uh, I don't know if that's an indication that it's halting, you know, giving it a slug of current and then backing off, giving it a slug of current. But you can see it's toggling between point one two. And now it's not going to toggle. Oh, there it is. The point zero seven. So I don't know if what's causing that phenomenon, whether it's the load itself or, or, or what. I don't know what. And maybe the charger in this thing is, you know, drawing a slug of current and then drawing less current, drawing slug of current. But it's playing right now. And you can see when it's playing, battery probably half charged. Is drawing about 120, 130 milliamps. So I mainly just wanted today, just wanted to show you this new device. It's I got it off of Amazon. It was about 7.98 or something like that, and it was a, a Prime item. So if you have a Prime account, it was free shipping. And the other thing nice about Prime now is they deliver on uh, Sunday. So I got this yesterday, Sunday. And that was nice. Got my 
so I didn't lose for a while there oh up to about three months ago if I ordered on a Thursday a late Thursday I wouldn't get the item until Monday so my two-day shipping was not two-day shipping but since they've added this Sunday delivery I ordered this on a Friday and I got it Sunday it's, so I got it in two days so I like that about Amazon now if they start doing that uh, I, I, I know I've mentioned this before but I really like this little power cube and I've looked at uh, I looked on Amazon to see if I could find one that has a dual speaker so that you could hear stereo and uh, I found one that was twenty-one dollars, and I'm like, you know, I I don't listen to FM. I only listen to MP3. So it's like, nah, I don't really need stereo for my MP3s that much. I'm using it as a background uh, music, and so I don't really need that. So I was, I live with this one. I'm keeping my eye out to see if there's any that are slightly larger that might have a little bit better audio. Um, if you know of one, please let me know. Uh, so anyway, that's kind of the show I wanted to give you today. I, I really liked this initially, the Charger Doctor, but as I said before, it, um, it only displays either the voltage or the current because it only has single display here so it toggles back and forth so you don't see the voltage and the current real time so to speak um, and these were uh, twice the cost of these these were about fifteen dollars where these were about eight dollars but right now they had them on sale for something was 788 or 798 and they were available through prime so there's no shipping costs to me because I have a Prime account. So anyway, if you enjoyed this show, please give me a thumbs up. I'm still looking for some more radios to review. Um, apparently the new uh, Eaton radios, of which there's four, two are available and I've done reviews on those two, but the other two have been delayed. They were supposed to be out in September. Uh, they're now saying maybe November. So I'm anxious to get those two because those two are the uh, have a lot more features than the two I've got, and uh, one of them is similar to the G3, which had a lot of functions. So I'm really interested in getting that one. It's being called the satellite radio, which is confusing because the Grundy line has a satellite line. And that's the big radios, a uh, tabletop radios, and not portable radios. And so uh, that that's been a little bit of a confusion factor. So anyway, uh, if you enjoyed the show, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We're almost to 3,000 subscribers, and I appreciate everybody that subscribed and everybody that's used my Amazon store. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.